This is the Carrier Tech 2000 Infinity Heat Pump. All right, I'm ready for it to, um, and let's get the dog in the video too. All right. Arthur, Arthur. Stay. Will he stay? Mm-hmm. Hey, Arthur. Arthur is a nine-year-old black lab. Come on. <laughs> this is a two-bedroom house, right? Should be any minute. So it's matched up with a gas furnace? Correct. This is the system I want in my house, a hybrid heat system. Dual zone? I already have dual zone. Oh. I just have a straight air conditioner with gas furnace though. I'm putting it in the unit on the Takes a second, Charlie. To Thermostat's being grumpy. Yes it is. Oh, you got that, that damn artillery fungus too. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's all over my truck, it's all over my air conditioner, it's all over my mom's van. It's going to cost a ton of money to get it removed from the truck. Never heard of that. That's where all these little black dots are along the side of the unit. It's a fungus. Yeah, it's fungus. Yuck. And it's all over the side of the house here, too. That's one of the benefits of having an association. That's their job. Now, I have an association, but... um. Oh, is it going to do what it did when you tried to make a video of it a couple weeks ago? Where I it was... hope not. Because it turned out there was nothing wrong with it, right? Yeah, it was just a setting. The other day it took a while to come on and then it was on. Arthur, come here. Did that kick on? No. It's being grumpy. Hold on, Does it work good on the second floor? There we go. There it goes. Even with it set to 68? Yeah. So this is a three story? Yeah, well, it's actually four because it's finished basically. And then the All this in a 1,200, 1,300 square foot house? And this little two-ton unit does all that? It's definitely very quiet. Got the GE fan motor. I wonder if this is two stages. Yeah, everything was okay, did go on. Everything was done right. It's got the filter dryer, it's installed plenty far from the house. Here it is. No idea. That's like gas mileage in a car, but but for um, heat pumps. It's like miles per gallon in a car, but it's air conditioners and heat pumps. Like the government minimum nowadays is um, 13 sear. And this was that was in 2006. So back in 2005, the the, the lowest minimum you could have was 10 sear. And this is a um, this is probably like a 15 or a 16 sear. That's like right before they redesigned it. This style they, they came out with this style in 1989, and it was around until 2005, and then they replaced it with the bulgy looking unit that they have now. I honestly think this style's better because you can just pull off the back panel and access the compressor and all the other guts. Yeah. What? Rusting. Already? Mm -hmm. There might be something wrong with that. Yeah. It's not supposed to do that when it's in the 50s. It's already frosting? Did that just happen just now? I think so. That's weird. It's like, what, 55 degrees right now? 54? Yeah. Maybe it'll give a steam show. <laughs> that's not that. That's weird. The condenser's dirty, or the filter needs to be replaced. Okay. That's weird. Look at that. It's like it reminds me of the one at the gym. Yeah. No, not as bad as the one at the gym.
I'll be. D that, that's that's weird. It's, it's, fro it's frosting. Yeah, it frosts when it gets really chilly outside. Look, this is like a band of frost. That's usually a sign that um, the filter's dirty, the condenser's dirty, or maybe that it... That could be a number of things. I've never seen a heat pump frost up in this, this warm out when it's... Um, this war This is warm right here, so it means it is working. Yeah. Yeah, because the Freon's going in the opposite direction. It's warm. You're touching the suction line, right? Yeah, this is where it gets warm, yeah. That is the damnedest thing. It's frozen solid. Look at this. The heat pump's freezing when it's <laughs> in the 50s. I was thinking dirty filter or low on Freon. I'm just a friend of theirs. I'm not the air conditioning technician. I'm just making a video of it for a YouTube project. It's freezing. Yeah. It's the heat pump. It should. I don't even know. No, that's the heat pump. That's a heat pump. That's that's. that's No, no. <laughs> and it just got really quiet all of a sudden. Like just the yeah. fan's spinning. Yeah. Yeah, it's a heat pump. This is for when it's milder out, and then there's a gas furnace in the basement. It's electric. No, it isn't. That heat and gas. Usually when it defrosts, the fan blade shuts off and it steams. Or no, it doesn't always steam, but that was the weirdest... It's an anomaly! You are filming the most interesting heat pump yet. Heat pump anomalies. Oh, it just kicked back on. The compressor oh. just... That's what I always do with these walk-around videos. Start up, shut down. Is this a two-stage? I think so. Hey, it's windy out here. I know, I'm getting cold. Wind chill. Yeah. Maybe that's what brought on the frost. What's up with his leg there? Just a Arthur bandit. has a health condition. He has seizures and he has um, fluid that builds up in his chest. So he goes to the vet every other week to have the fluid drained. And ever since the uh, seizures started, now they catheterize him just to make sure in case he has a seizure during the procedure. I so love Labradors. I miss my lab. I really miss best. my lab. Hopefully you'll live to be 15 just like Molly. I hope so. And I think he you sees a, right what kind of dog is that, a pit bull? Yeah, it looks like it. You stay. It looks like a blue pit bull. He looks like he just wants to play. You stay, you stay, bud. You stay. Is that one of those blue pit bulls? Is that one of those blue pit bulls? <laughs> he looks like one of those grayish blue colored. Do you know that dog? Yeah, it's my neighbor a couple floors down. It's all right, Papa. So, is there anything in the back, or this is the only unit of the house? Yeah. I know. I know. I know. That was the weirdest thing, and you can still see the markings on there when it where it um. You want it back on, or you good? Oh, uh, that's good. I'm not going to need another video until summertime when it's running in cool mode. Oh, there's going to be multiple additions to the most interesting Yeah, they, they, they tend to behave differently in different weather. So, so um, it has like a variable speed gas furnace in the basement, right? Like a 95% efficiency gas furnace? Actually, 90, I think it's like 92. Or 92. Do you have a PVC pipe or a metal flue pipe? Uh, PVC 
PVC. Then you have a condensing furnace. Charlie can remember things like you wouldn't believe. He was just telling me the design, when the design changes, what year it changed, like stuff I would never retain in a million years. It amazes me that you have such an eye for detail like that. Oh, that's awesome. I can't believe how cold it got out. I know, it's chilly. That's probably what made it freeze up. I wonder if it was actually defrosting there. Because if it defrosted, there'd be like a whoosh from the reversing valve switching over. And then it would, um, and then it would, um, the blades would shut off and then the, the compressor would still be running. Yeah. And do you have an, all right, let's conclude this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. This has been a 2005 Carrier Tech 2000 Infinity Series heat pump matched up with a gas furnace. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.